Into security matters now, where the Chief of Army Staff, Major General Tarid Lagwaja, paid an operational visit to a troubled Mangu local government area of Plateau State to see for himself the situation in the council area. The Army Chief also launched an operation to restore peace to various communities facing attacks and killings in recent times. Funam Joshua reports. Then Torich of the Chief of Army Staff Major General Tariq Lagbaja arrives in Mangu local government area. The Army Chief is in Mangu Council following attacks and killings that continued unabated despite several efforts to tackle the challenge in recent times. His first port of call was the Ford Base Operation Headquarters in Mangu, where he was briefed on the situation in the area. He then launched Operation Hakorin Damisa Special Forces 4. Major General Tariq Lagbaja applauded the troops for restoring normalcy in some of the crisis communities in just a few days of their deployment to the crisis areas. He urges them to sustain the effort professionally and also maintain rules of engagement. You are the people's army. When they send a distress call to you, you must respond. And you must respond as quickly as possible. Is that clear? Yes, sir! The course then proceeded to the pilot primary school temporary IDP camp where he held a town hall meeting with leaders of the Magaval Development Association and that of the Fulani community. Representatives of both groups were given time to talk about their challenges and the way forward. The Magaval Development Association is not happy that some cattle arrested while illegally grazing on farmlands were released to their owners without proper compensation. <laughs> The means are becoming grazing land. Grazing land. I wish the TPO was here. But I told the commander, went up the work and brought over 500 cows. They were in ASTC. I'm told that I set them free. We sought to hear from the leadership of the Fulani communities on the authenticity of the claim by the MDA president on the arrested cattle and their release. The cows were released. Definitely. But somebody has been held back as uh, a collateral so that as negotiation is going on for compensation, that man is still under police custody. The chief of army staff, while responding to issues raised, assured that the troops deployed are going to do their mandate professionally without bias or taking sides. He asserted that total normalcy will be restored to all troubled communities in Mangu and Emberens, but warned perpetrators from both sides to submit all arms illegally used by youths in the area, as anybody caught with them will be shot and killed by the troops. Brothers, we have come back to the table and say, let us forget the past. We have youths carrying illicit small arms and light weapons all over the place, here in Mangu and the entire Plateau State. And I want to warn this afternoon, that if you have a word, you have your children carrying weapons, please call them to order as quickly as possible. The event ended with a commitment to promote peaceful coexistence among the two warring communities by their leaders. The convoy of the Nigeria Chief of Army Staff has just left the venue of this peace stakeholders meeting. The locals are now wondering what will be the next event after this development. Phnom Joshua, TVC News, Mangu.